For those of you who like your independence and like some peace and quiet and would prefer to work alone, the working remotely option is a fantastic option. However, that can affect how you may or may not qualify for your next mortgage. Two main things that an underwriter is going to have to take into consideration if you are working remote. Number one is going to be your occupancy. Are you going to occupy the home that you're purchasing or not? Some home loans will require you to occupy that home as your primary residence. Uh, examples are USDA home loans, FHA home loans, and VA home loans, and some conventional home loans as well, if that is your intent. Working remotely is not a problem or is going to impact your ability to qualify for the home loan as long as we can prove to the underwriter a couple of things. Number one, that your income is stable, it's consistent. It's either an hourly basis or an annual salary. If it is variable income, such as overtime, uh, bonus, or commissions, that can be calculated into your qualified income as well. We will just need to make sure that you've been receiving that variable income steadily for the last two years. And they'll look at W-2s, then they'll look at tax returns and get a verification of employment from your employer to verify that that variable income has remained stable or has slowly been going up. And lastly, the underwriter will very likely need to verify that you are able, you have permission from your employer to work remotely indefinitely. And how they'll require proof of this is a letter from your employer stating just that, that you have the ability to work remotely indefinitely. I realize everybody's scenario is different. The type of employment, how long you've been working remote, what type of income you have, uh, because everybody's scenario is unique, contact your trusted lender or give me a call. You can always contact me at terryroberts.com and I'll get all of your questions answered to help ensure that you have a solid, reliable pre-approval so that if you do get to the point of making an offer on a home, the offer is accepted and you're on underwriting, your loan will not get denied after you've paid hundreds of dollars for an appraisal, potentially thousands of dollars for earnest money, and another hundred or few hundred dollars for a home inspection. You can always contact me at terryroberts.com.